Hello and welcome to the Daily Disney Podcast. This is episode 33 and today we are going to talk all about my favorite form of transportation at the park. Um, We broke down all of the the different types of transportation at Disney World a few weeks ago, but today we're going to focus on the Walt Disney World monorail system. The monorail system is a public transit monorail that operates between anywhere between 10 to 12 Mark 6 monorail trains on three specific lines of service. It opened in 1971 with two routes. There's the resort loop and the express loop um, with the Mark 4 monorail trains. It was expanded to three lines, took us to Epcot, and the rolling stock was updated in 1989. So in 1971, monorails were introduced. 82, we get another line over to Epcot. 89, new trains, and here we go. As of 2016, the system was one of the most heavily used monorail systems in the world with over 150,000 daily riders. It's only surpassed by Tokyo Monorail in Tokyo, Japan, which has over 300,000 daily riders. Um, There's also one in China that has 900,000 daily riders with a couple different lines combined. So that being said, it's one of the most famous, well-known monorails in the world. Um, There are six stations, 150,000 people a day, I mean, we're looking at a lot of train length, 203 feet. Our average speed is 40 miles an hour, but we hit 55 miles an hour if we're feeling feeling fast, I guess. No, I'm just kidding. It hits, it hits 55 on the way to Epcot. So the, the Walt Disney World monorail spans 14.7 miles with around 50 million Disney guests traveling on it each year. The system opened with the rest of Walt Disney World on October 1st, 1971, and featured four stations. The Transportation and Ticket Center of the TTC, the Polynesian, Magic Kingdom, and Contemporary. The Epcot line and station were added during the park's construction and opening in October of 1982. The most recent addition was the Grand Floridian Station, which opened in 1988 with the Resort Hotel. There are two distinct routes on the monorail system, three different services. Mod Magic Kingdom Express. The Express runs counterclockwise around the outer loop, providing nonstop service from the Magic Kingdom to the Transportation and Ticket Center. So you park at the TTC, you get a quick shot over uh, over to Magic Kingdom, and when you're done, you get on that, and it takes you right back to the TTC. No stopping, keep it moving. The Magic Kingdom Resort line runs clockwise around the inner loop and it stops at the Contemporary, the Polynesian, the Grand Floridian, and Magic Kingdom. So there you go. Um, <clears throat> also, uh, oh, you know what? It stops at the TTC too. Sorry. I was thinking how the heck do you get there? So basically we're stopping at the TTC, the Poly, the Grand Floridian, Magic Kingdom Contemporary, five stops. The Epcot line runs from the TTC directly to Epcot. There's a single beam on a clockwise loop. That's when you're flying, you're getting there quick. Um, There's another couple different spur tracks that connect um, different things to the maintenance shop. But really, when you look up, the beams are made of concrete. and, and all the trains come from Washington. So, long story short, what do you think about the monorails? Some people, even that I know, um, are scared to death of them. They think that they're not safe. They think they're going to topple over. They think that if you get stuck up there, you're going to be stuck forever. Um, they think that even if you get stuck above the roadway, it's going to be terrible to try to have the firemen or somebody try to get you down. And the monorails have gotten stuck lately. Not a ton, but a little bit here and there. And they've either had to be uh, towed into station or something else, you know, pushed them through the way there. But 
Ultimately, I love the monorails. I think they're awesome. I think that they just scream Disney. I think that they just scream um, kind of that vintage, older, hey, here's Walt Disney World. They scream Epcot. Um, there's nothing better than getting on the monorail on the way to Epcot. All the anticipation, excitement, here it is. And then you come up and you see Spaceship Earth. You go around that loop inside. You see everything. You see everybody. And then vice versa, when you're in the park, you can look up. And that's always a great picture of that monorail zooming by Spaceship Earth or any of the other um, pavilions, attractions, anything like that. And then, again, once you're on that loop and you kind of peek around and that's that first glance of Magic Kingdom and Spaceship or I'm sorry, uh, Space Mountain and now Tron and Cinderella Castle. <clears throat> There's nothing like it in the world going on that monorail and seeing that kind of for that first time for your visit. It's unbelievable. It's great. And it's just so much fun. Um, now, they continue to update the, the cars. Um, the Mark IV was in service from 71 to 91. Uh, there were five or six cars per monorail. The new ones are the Mark VI monorails. They have... Um, Six cars per, per, per train, basically. Um, they are not quite as heavy as the other one. Per car, you can get 20 seated, 40 standing. You can get 360 people in the train. The older monorails, you could get 244, basically. So, got a lot more, a lot more, um availability in the newer Mark VI version. Starting in June of 2014, the monorail began operating on a different timetable in order to accompany work and automate the system. Disney stated that the system would provide a more efficient service to enhance safety, as well as more frequent dispatch of the trains, faster switching times, monorail information, uh, things like that. Pilots are still seated in the front of the cab, but only supervise the monorail in case of emergency. Platform attendants that operate a control panel to dispatch and operate the monorail system. I will not tell you how one of the best memories we have, he's 13 now, but when he was six, five, something like that, we got to sit in the very front there. This would have been right at the same right before this automation happened. And we sat in the very front car and it was unbelievable. Um, we could watch the guy, you know rev it up and slow it down and all that kind of stuff but our our son loved being in the front there and witnessing everything i think you can i don't know if you can still sit up there or not even though it's automated but it's really it was really really cool to be able to sit in that front car of the monorail i just talked about the views and everything i mean you're 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 on the nose basically so you see it even quicker and with a better view than everybody else kind of looking at that window kind of that what 45 degree angle you got to head on so that part was really cool. I wish they would um, kind of bring that back. They do a bunch of special um, wraps on them. Tron, um, they've done Avengers, Marvel, Iron Man, Monsters University, Toy Story. They've done a bunch of things like that. I think there's one right now for the 50th anniversary. Um, in 2019, they did refurbish every monorail with new brakes, new interior, repainted. Um, Basically, they now they have like different deltas, different different kind of stripes on them, and different things like that. Um, they do have a pre-recorded announcement on there, which is great. Please stand clear of the doors. You know all that uh, um, those famous phrases that we all know and love. And um, one thing that <clears throat> I've noticed is they have actually done a better job with severe weather they've kind of parked the monorails rather than just kind of try to get through them and keep it going um they have done a really really good job of making sure that they're keeping everybody safe not just the disney cast members but also the guests making sure that these are not going through storms and really really bad weather um i do remember as a little guy we were going to epcot and it was just raining sideways and there were no issues or no problems, but you always thought, what the heck, you know, this weather's not good. So they've done a better job with that. They do a good job with the platform safety. Um, of course, being a parent, you've got your kids kind of holding on to them to make sure 
They're not darting out there, but they do a good job of making sure that all the gates are shut. You can get out there. They're very, very good with the ADA access. Um, there have been some incidents. Um, unfortunately, a driver was killed when two um, monorails collided at the TTC. Um, that's the only fatal incident. There were a few other things where, um, um, you know what, that's, sorry, now that I'm reading a little further, that is what, unfortunately, that in 2009 is what stopped the riding in the front. So, um, yeah, maybe we didn't, he must not have ridden in the front. We must have ridden somewhere else or something. I was sure we were riding in the front, but this says 2009. I think it was a little later than that. But anyway, you can't ride in the front of the monorail anymore, unfortunately, due to this accident. But where are the best places to ride? I think in the very back. I think at the very front. There are so many cool different views. Um, I actually, what we did our last trip, I just took the GoPro, <clears throat> set it on the ledge and held it and record the res recorded the resort loop. And I loved it. I go back and watch that and listen to it time and time uh, time after time just to kind of get that feel of being there and thinking about it and, um, you know, kind of going through it. So, um, anyway, I think that we are very fortunate to have the monorail. I think that we're very, very lucky to have it where it goes. And I really think that we um, do a good job of... I don't want to say respecting it, but the line, the only really, really terrible line is leaving the Magic Kingdom of a busy night waiting for the monorail, either to the TCC or to the resort loop. That line is terrible, but the rest of the time, it's not bad. I've mentioned before, we stayed at the Contemporary. I cannot tell you how awesome it was just to get your stuff together, go down and go through security and you're right there. You don't have to leave the resort. You have to go outside or anything. It's awesome. Then you go over to TCC, change your change the train and then you're off. So that's it um, for today. I just wanted to kind of talk a little bit about the monorail and say how much I love it, how great it is. It is the best form of tra Disney transportation in my perspective. Every time we're there, the air conditioning is working fine. Every time we're there, that airflow is coming through. You don't get that stinky, musty kind of pirate, Pirates of the Caribbean feel where it's all just musty and uh, in there. You know, I've never got received that. I know that it is there. Um, I know on those hot, hot, hot summer days, by the end of the day, it can get a little warm. But we've always had a great experience, knock on wood, and hopefully it continues. And hopefully you have had a great experience on the monorail. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Um, but I want to know, what's your thoughts on the monorail? Is it something that you ride? Some, you know, I kind of treat it as another attraction. I think that it's fun enough to go on kind of by itself, standalone. I um we stayed at Art of Animation, and I made our family go way out of way to, to ride the monorail to get to the Contemporary, which made no sense. But it was fun to, um, you know, just get on there and see everything and see the sights. And then when you stay on the resort loop, it's unbelievable because you just get on there all the time. You're on there so much more frequently than what you would think or what you would believe that you would be. But, but anyway, that's it for us. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are the Daily Disney Podcast. Check us out on YouTube, Twitter. And make sure you like and subscribe um, to the podcast and all your podcast uh, outlets. We thank you so much for tuning in, and we will talk to you next time. Take care.